Meatloaf dinner for dessert? Why not? It's more food that fools. Hello everyone. Now to make our meatloaf, we're going to need a few ingredients. This part's optional if you want. I took some fruit roll-ups and then just using a pastry cutter, actually, I just sliced it into small pieces and I used red as well as green. And these will be just a little maybe bits of vegetables like red pepper or onion that you might put in your meatloaf. So I did some green as well. And I also threw in some white jelly beans that I cut into pieces for onions. And I threw in a few little bits of chopped papaya, which I guess could be carrot maybe, if you add that to your meatloaf. Now for the actual structure of the meatloaf, we're using Cocoa Krispies. That's six cups of Cocoa Krispies in a Ziploc bag, and you're gonna crush them into fairly fine crumbs. And in a very large bowl, place two tablespoons of butter, melt it, and then add three tablespoons of unsweetened baking cocoa and stir that in until it's smooth. Now add in 10 ounces of miniature or large marshmallows. And I put this in the microwave and I heat it for about a minute to a minute, 15 seconds or so until the marshmallows are all puffed up. And then just stir and it should all melt all nicely together and you get a lovely chocolate marshmallow mixture. Then add in the crushed Rice crispy or the Cocoa Krispies and an extra cup of uncrushed Cocoa Krispies just to give it a little bit of texture. Add in your vegetables. And it's, I found that the green ones were really, really sticky. So I just kind of rub them into the dry mixer just to separate the pieces. And then just stir in the cereal until completely coated and then put it into a loaf pan and squish it down so that it makes a block inside your loaf pan. Now, after I did this, I realized that it wasn't nearly as thick as I wanted it to be. I should have used a smaller loaf pan. So all I did was kind of push the mixture into half of the loaf pan. So I didn't have quite as much, but the thickness of the slices was bigger. But you can do what you want with this, of course. Now, meatloaf usually has a glaze on it, so I took some apricot jam, put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds just to make it a little bit more thin, and I added about a quarter teaspoon of cocoa just to darken it up a little bit, and then I used a pastry brush and just coated the entire meatloaf with it, and it gives it a nice shine like you'd have if you had a meatloaf that was just out of the oven. And as you can tell already, if you didn't know this was Rice Krispie Squares, and someone's told you that this was a meatloaf that had just come out of the oven, I'm sure that's exactly what you think it would be. Now for the mashed potatoes to go with this dinner, I'm using a cupcake. I just cut the, the rounded part off of the cupcake, set it upside down on the plate, and then frosted it with some white buttercream frosting, just plain old frosting. I made a little divot or a little hole in the top. And then for gravy, I used some caramel sundae topping. If you don't like the color of this, you could mix it with a little bit of cocoa to darken it up a bit or a little bit of brown food coloring. And for the little pat of butter, I used a Tootsie Roll taffy that comes in all sorts of different colors. And I used a yellow one, I patted it into a little square shape and put it right inside there, adding a couple of slices of meatloaf. And for the vegetables, I'm gonna make some peas by using this Tootsie Roll taffy that comes in green as well, it's a lime flavor. And you just take small pieces and roll it between your fingers to make peas. And they look very convincing as peas. And it is done, meatloaf dinner. I love how this one turned out. Uh, it really does look like meatloaf until you get really close to smell and touch it. And it tastes like delicious chocolate Rice Krispie squares. So it is a great dinner for dessert. I've always enjoyed making food that looks like other food. They're just something a lot of fun about doing it. I just like looking at the final result. I have an entire playlist full of food that looks like other food. So if you like this kind of a thing and you're interested in checking more of them out, all you have to do is click right on your screen right now or check out the link in the description box below the video. 
There will be a lot more Food That Fools recipes coming up on my channel in the next few weeks. So if you want to make sure you don't miss any, please go ahead and click on that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.